All right, welcome back to Morning Live. And uh, as I told you earlier before we took a break, you want to talk about careers because now careers are actually very important. But still, before career, most, let me say in this country, around 70, 80%, you have to at least go to a college. Now, I'm joined by Charles Omolo, the principal of Tika Institute of Business Studies, who's the main studio. And we want to talk about this issue of career choices because now, after Form 4, that's the integral period where you have to make this decision. And surprisingly, so many people make decisions just to fit in the society, just to be seen. I'm in the university, I'm in the college, do something. But what's the impact? Reality checks only when you're done with education. Bwana Charles, good morning. Uh, thank you, Nick. Good All morning. Right. Karibu sana. Yes, and uh, and uh, um, uh, it, it's, it's crazy out here, I understand. Uh, but um, from Thika Institute of Business Studies, and trust me, we have so many institutions offering, um, um, let's say mid-level colleges offering these courses. But look at the current um, issue, the bigger picture of unemployment in this country. It's also mind-boggling a little bit. Um, is it a matter of decision? Is it a matter of maybe uh, poor parenting also? poor guidance and uh, poor maybe quick rationale decision making mm -hmm. uh, thank you nick yes uh, i would say that there are so many factors that uh, contribute to career choices okay. and uh, at times uh, the young people mm -hmm. uh, they are in a hurry to make quick bucks okay there's this perception that uh, there are certain careers that will make them more money yeah there's this perception that some careers are more prestigious mm -hmm. So sometimes you find these young people ending up taking up careers which they are ill-fitted for. Okay. And uh, that is where now guidance, career guidance comes in. Mm -hmm. And uh, everyone, every person basically needs to be given some guidance on uh, the best careers mm -hmm. that uh, are well-fitted mm -hmm. to their personality, to their attitudes, mm -hmm. to their educational uh, uh, strengths in terms of the subjects, uh, etc. Okay. But uh, we find the young people out of pressure they end up taking careers which they feel uh, the society embraces and accepts yeah and uh, sooner or later they realize in the middle of the journey that uh, they, they made some mistakes along the way absolutely yes absolutely. Yeah. now um I, I can tell you this that uh, um as far as now um the cream de la cream of uh, performance is concerned as far as now even the case you see it is um you know uh, the law students you know it's so surprising that only out of the around 300 A's in this country, only six chose law. That's actually our case study. Now look at the career choices. Sometimes, as you mentioned, people want these careers out of where they finish school, they're ready to employment. But things are changing. Right now, you just have the basic diploma, basic degree, and you're good to go. What is really happening in this country? Because a young person watching right now, maybe with a parent, they're wondering what next for them. But look, the career is actually changing. When you study, for example, uh, for example, engineering, eh, you don't be an engineer. Mm -hmm. When, if, for example, you study something like a uh, human resource, you'll go do something else. So, w what is really happening in this country? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say uh, the changes that are taking place in the in the global scene, uh, changes in technology, changes in uh, social changes, uh, all these contribute to even the careers that are uh, coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh, right now, you'll look at uh, uh, careers like uh, in the social media, you know, yeah. there are people who are employed to just handle those uh, social media pages yeah. that can be contributed to changes in technology. Mm -hmm. uh, attitudes are also changing. Yeah. There are careers which mm -hmm. uh, were non-existent and uh, they are emerging yeah. uh, in, the, in the recent past. Yeah. And uh, like you said, employers, uh, people learn certain, uh, uh, take certain lines of career mm -hmm. and they end up working in very different uh, sectors. True. And uh, I would say this is also contributed to what employers want. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, currently what an employer would want is someone who is able to perform. Yeah. Is someone who has the right attitude, someone who is trainable. Yeah. And uh, education uh, in general just gives someone the attitudes give someone the, the general skills, mm -hmm. but now when it comes to the specific uh, tasks, an employer would be interested in someone who has a mental uh, yeah. uh, orientation yeah. Yeah. towards that, that kind of uh, work, mm -hmm. and someone whom they can mold uh -huh. so that they can uh -huh. now fit into uh -huh. that particular industry. Interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can, uh, you can uh, attest to this. Yeah. In the media industry, yeah. there, there are some of your colleagues probably so many who, who never went to media school yeah and yeah. Uh, they're doing quite they're well, doing well. 
sure. Yeah. See, the passion, of course, the talent. Yes. You know, there's some things you can actually just affect. Eh? Very true. Come to catch up with you. Yes. Now, um, looking at the private institutions, because now when you talk about these colleges, universities, sometimes commercialization of these things have actually made poor quality education uh, very conspicuous out here. It's crazy because now, as much as we're talking about even other institutions, eh, look at the level of which we're trying to help the students to be. Uh, we just want money, the finish, go. Examiners. Now, I understand there's so many examiners actually that come into place, depending on the course you're doing, if it's accounting, there's a specific examiner, all those things. Look at the commercialization of this education sector. Tell us more about this. Yeah. Uh, indeed, uh, it is true that uh, the sector has really been commercialized uh, in the recent past. Yeah. Uh, if you look at, uh, at us as a country, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of demand, there's a lot of thirst for, ah. for education. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the demand is there, okay. but uh, the supply side is now ah. where the problem ah. uh, comes ah. in. Uh -huh. And uh, where there's a mismatch between the demand and supply, uh, you'll find now some, some quarks will come yeah. in. Yeah some unscrupulous mm -hmm. colleges will come in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people will, uh, some colleges will advertise for, mm -hmm. for courses which probably mm -hmm. they're not accredited to offer. Mm -hmm. And uh, there lies in the problem. Okay. And uh, this now goes back to the implementation of, um, of the rules that exist. Mm -hmm. Right now, the mid-level colleges are um, governed by Tiveta. Uh -huh. the Technical and Vocational Training Authority. Okay, that, is, that, is, that is the body that yeah. uh, is supposed to accredit. Okay. It's a body that's supposed to regulate the industry. Okay. And uh, I, I believe they can do more to ensure that uh, some of these colleges that uh, exist and offer courses that are not accredited mm -hmm. uh, maybe are, uh, are, are pushed aside and uh, the law is, is followed. Yeah. But uh, there's a big gap mm -hmm. that needs to be filled in the education sector. And uh, that may end up, uh, uh, the, the learners may end up taking up courses okay. which they'll never maybe be examined for. So I'll urge uh, people to, to do some background check. Mm -hmm. It's important that uh, if before someone joins uh, a college, let them find out is it an accredited college okay. by law? Mm -hmm. uh, what sort of uh, facilities do they have? Uh, what sort of uh, personnel uh, do they have on board in terms of human resources? Uh, the exam bodies are they accredited okay. exam bodies yeah. Yeah, because uh, right now it is not allowed for colleges to offer internal uh, exam exams okay. Okay. Uh, you cannot be the same person who teaches and, and then they the offer same the same person. exam yeah, sure. uh, exactly Interesting. so at a uh, mid level mm -hmm. uh, those are some of the things to look out for okay. and uh, it's, a, it's just about mismatch between demand and supply mm -hmm. and, you know, people come in. Okay. And also uh, some la laxity mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. maybe lack of um, uh, p people in the, in, the, in the government uh, department necessary okay. to, to do that. Okay. So that you'll find that there are a lot of la lapses in the industry. Okay. Now for a young man um, who, or a young, a young lady who's actually watching right now, and uh, you see, mostly when you want to make a career decision, you convince your parents. And your parents have to look at the value, which of course will bring later on after the course. Uh, th this is valuable courses. Sometimes we go for these flooded courses. Sometimes people say it's easier just get rid of it, and then you're out of the school institution with the diploma, the degree, and then you're good to go. But when you come out here, reality checks in and it's very tough. Now, flooded courses, whereby it's easier to maneuver, exams are maybe fair. Uh, do, do, do you think it will come to a place whereby now we will be advising people accordingly, according to their desires, according to where they fit in? Because I, I, I still feel like there's still something going on in, in the name of commercialization, um, which in turn kind of uh, dents the student's hope of getting even a job. So yeah. what do you think about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Career choice. Career choice, I would say it is a, it is a factor. It is a, it is a, a mix of several factors. Okay. And uh, at the top is the, the individual's interest. Okay. Uh, uh, a person, before someone takes a career line, they have to think about, is it an area that they're interested in? Is mm -hmm. it an area that uh, they fit in, in terms of their mindset, their attitude? Okay. Uh, some careers even uh, consider <coughs> yeah. uh, even the physical uh, features. Okay. You know, like in the military, I don't yeah. know if I don't know if it's in the in the in the media, <laughs> it's a factor probably. 
okay. but uh, someone has to look inside first okay, okay. and they think am i really fitted for mm -hmm. for this career actually in, in, in the media is uh, as i told you earlier there's some things you can actually fake for long yeah? yes. <laughs> they'll come to catch up with you so uh, in the media is yes uh, basically what what you need to know is uh, uh you need to be very aware of environment of mm -hmm. course um you need to be uh, talented also because uh we don't really depend on so many things we yes. depend on our s entirely the foundation exactly. is the talent because exactly. now you might have um gone to school for all those years but when you come sitting in front of this camera you're actually uh, something else because now this is now where you, you build yourself but l looking at your, your conversation it clearly means that we need guidance very true yeah maybe very what, true. What, what do you have to say about this yes i would say we need guidance mm -hmm. And uh, this guidance uh, will come from our parents. Our parents know us very well. This guidance will come from uh, other professionals who are already in the industry. Uh, for instance, in the media, uh, you can go to schools, talk to these young people, yeah. tell them what this career entails, what is required. Because some people get into careers then realize later that uh, the requirements of the job are, okay. are too much for them okay so if they can get some soft so, uh, sort of mentorship from professionals that would really do uh, uh, high schools should also we also encourage yeah. they should also yeah. have some career mm -hmm. guidance mm -hmm. uh, departments mm -hmm. and also organize for other people to come uh, these professional bodies okay. let's say uh, lsk yeah. uh, you know yeah. uh, ICPAC, yeah. etc etc they can go and talk to these young people uh -huh tell them about the requirements of this career, tell them about uh, the subject to the cluster uh, mm -hmm. consideration, mm -hmm. uh, what is required. And uh, someone will be able now to have an orientation and yeah. start to know, probably I fit well in this line and uh, this other line probably is not for me. Yeah, it's true that. Yeah. Um, before you take a break, there's an issue of grading. You know, case is, is an exam, uh, I can say for sure. Uh, they, really, they used to scare people that this is your life. Yes. Like you get a D, you get an E, ah, you're done by the way in this life. Huh? Yes. But um, yes, it's true. You need to re work really hard to make sure at least you have very uh, interesting grades. But admissions, huh? putting in the mind uh, the foundations of commercializing uh, all these issues. Huh? You find someone uh, is applying for an uh, engineering course, but look at the credentials maybe. They don't qualify. Mm -hmm. because they have money that's coming mm -hmm. we want the money yeah. hey, tell us more about this because uh, putting these um, uh, colleges and universities on the sport it, it's something we need to talk about it then the student goes in um, starts the course and it proves to be very difficult yeah, then they true. drop along the way yeah. so what can you tell us more about that actually yeah, yeah. Uh, you know uh, currently uh, our education system is is very much uh, exam oriented and uh, I, I actually support the changes that are taking place in the curriculum okay. where we have more of a uh, competence based. But uh, as things stand, it is your KCC grade uh, currently that will actually determine which line uh, you're going to pursue. Okay. And uh, I'm happy to report that uh, at uh, our, our college, people can actually start at the lowest level, okay. depending on uh -huh. the grade that someone yeah, got. Yeah. As uh, you progress now. As yeah. you progress. Mm -hmm. uh, the, b if you had uh, maybe C, C minus and C plane, you get a direct entry to a diploma course. Okay, okay. If you got a D plus and a D plane, you get a direct entry to a certificate course. Okay, okay. And uh, for those who unfortunately can get, uh, get uh, D minus, mm -hmm. they can get start at artisan. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a very clear progression. Mm -hmm. And maybe this person who wanted to be an engineer at the university yeah. and they didn't get that uh, entry yeah. they can avoid now getting into these uh, unscrupulous colleges where they yeah. would get yeah. a, 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 a qualification that will be recognized out there it's true that so someone can start at mm -hmm. diploma level depending okay. on your grade mm -hmm. or certificate then yeah. you go to diploma okay. or artisan then mm -hmm. you go to certificate then diploma so the journey is a little bit longer uh -huh. for uh -huh. the person who got the lower grades okay. but uh, the destination is uh, is assured okay. it's just the ceiling that they set for themselves mm -hmm. okay. so indeed uh, it's a possibility <coughs> mm -hmm.